Hey my lovies, welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media. So guys, today we're going to buy some chicken kebabs. Um, this is actually an old video. I made it long time ago and I lost this phone. But now I'm it's holy so I can share the recipe with you. Um, so I was busy making braai because busy in a load shedding. So this is another tip for us South Africans. Um, if you have a load shedding at home and you're trying to have a good meal, just use your braai stand um, and you have a full meal. Um, so I'm just only going to show chicken kebabs, but I've already made inyama, um, red meat. Um, and I'm sure it's simple for everyone. It's traditional braai meat. So we can all make that. So what you want to do is cut your chicken breast into small um, pieces and then season. If you're seasoning, I use cajun spice and black pepper. Um, I also added salt, I think. And then use colored uh, bell peppers um, as a decoration. You can also add uh, purple onion if you want to, but I didn't add it. Um, and then you want to cut your peppers into like small squares um and then get your skewers um so i'm a skewer i can actually a checkers um i had a tough time looking for them but um so i think you'll find them there um yeah so i'll just show you guys it's really simple to make um it's also very good it's tasty while in the end I left video Elena or making this recipe, I already like wrapped my potatoes in foil and I put them on my braai stand. Uh, fortunately enough, I got the one that um, can close. So I, I bake potato I can cook. Because um, I did say we had load shedding. So I needed a side and I couldn't cook anything else. So I just decided I'm going to make baked potatoes. So yeah, you put it on a skewer like that. You just exchange, you put a pepper, you put chicken, a piece of chicken, and then up until the skewer is almost full. And that's it. And then what's left there is just to brush it with sauce if you want to. If you don't want to, you can um, go bright as it is, or if you don't have sauce in the house. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you watch the video. It's really simple, guys. Um, as I said, I, I was baking my potatoes for a long time before I made this because they take long on the braai stand. So you wanna do that earlier if you have load shedding. If it's just a meal that you wanna make for your family, you can bake them on the, in the oven. If you have electricity, that's much quicker. Yeah, so enjoy this video and try the recipe and let me know what you think. Um, I think it's one of the simplest I've shared.
so as you can see guys those are my potatoes in foil um, and right now I'm frying my kebabs as well in the same fry stand um, you want to fry them until the meat is golden brown so you know it's cooked so, so how you check the potatoes if they're cooked you push a skewer I'll show you you push a skewer and if it goes in without any obstruction then your potatoes are cooked um, so yeah I'll be showing that as you can see on this one I could barely push the skewer in so it's not cooked as yet um, and then the other one it was like cooked you can see it's ready but I'm gonna close my bry stand and let everything cook together then I'll show you when everything is done when I'm serving Okay guys, as you can see, the meal was done. What I did with my potatoes, I just added butter and celery on top, as well as some spice, potato spice, and they were very good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll meet in the next video. Bye. Bye.